Hi friends, welcome to my channel. And today we are going to discuss about how to prepare for Sachivalayam examinations like Digital Assistant Grade 6 Panchayati Secretary examination, what type of syllabus is given and how to prepare for the examination, which topic we have to concentrate more on and uh, how to crack this in a single attempt. And firstly, I would like to explain uh, parts given in the digital assistant examination like part A and part B, which is part A is all about general studies and mental ability, which carries 50 questions and 50 marks. And part B is about engineering subjects like uh, for computer science students, electronic students and electrical students, MCA students, MBA students, every student can attempt this um, like uh, part B questions very easily because it has a basic component of computer knowledge. Coming to the marks, part A carries 50 marks for 50 questions, whereas part B carries 100 questions with 100 marks for right answer plus 1, for wrong answer minus 1 by 4. In this digital assistant, in part B, 12 subjects are given. Uh, 12 subjects means we can mainly divide into three subcategories like electrical, electronics and computer subjects. Uh, computer subjects are mostly five subjects like data structures, database, database management system, operating system, computer organization, programming languages. Whereas for electrical students, uh, they have given a priority of three topics like DC missions and AC missions power system generation and protection, electrical and electronic measurements, measurements. Whereas for electronic students, number systems and digital circuits, circuit theory, electronic devices and circuits, communication engineering. And these three subcategories will composite up to 11 subjects. Then the other subject is computer networking. Networking is there for both computer science students and electronic students. So, this can be taken as subcategory of both the electronics and computer science groups. Now, coming to each and every subject explanation, syllabus explanation, that is, uh, firstly for computer subjects like data structure. Data structure is not only the depth of the uh, subject, it is just the basics of the subjects like um, stacks, linked list, tree, graphs, searching and sorting. Now, coming to DBMS database management system we have to focus on database designing like uh, data modeling and working with the statements like ddl dml uh, and dependency like functional dependencies we have to concentrate more on those topics whereas coming into the operating system operating system is about types we have to focus on types of operating system functions of operating system process management, memory management, continuous allocation, like uh, non-continuous allocation, fragmentation, we have to focus on that areas. Then for computer organization, we have to mainly focus on the types of uh, memories like RAM, ROM, external memory, internal memory, mm, modes of input output data transfer, interrupt driven, I.O. Mm, computer arithmetics like 14 point representation, integer representation, arithmetic representation. And the last one, programming languages, which includes C basics, OOPS concept basics. C basics is nothing but uh, like C tokens, expressions, operations, storage classes, pointers, dynamic allocation. Whereas OOPS concepts includes overloading, polymorphism, constructor, destructor, type conversions. We have to focus on that topics. Now coming to electronic subject. Uh, among those four subjects, number system and digital circuit is the very easiest subject. Because the syllabus is also quite less when compared to the other subjects. Then coming to circuit theory and electronic devices, electronic devices is a huge topic, very depth subject is that. So firstly concentrate on number systems, then go to computer networking. Computer networking is also very huge, but we'll get um, 
marks very easily in that subject also communication engineering coming to electrical subjects we have three electrical subjects machines power system generation and electrical electronic measuring and measurements uh, whereas two subjects are common for both electrical and electronic students like machines machines electronic students also study uh, like uh, not only the huge portion they have a minimum knowledge of machines and also measurement devices like electrical and electronic measuring measurements uh, both electrical and electronic students are studied during their engineering so it is quite helpful for both electronics and electrical students for every subject like uh, for computer subject will get 40 marks for electronic subject will get 32 marks for electrical subject will get 24 marks like in each and every area will get eight bits that means for computer subjects we have five subjects that means eight questions for five subjects five it's 40 marks like each and every subject is given equal preference so we have to focus on each and every subject uh, not only the part b we have to concentrate on part a also because it is also a scoring subject like general studies and mental ability which is very common to each and every examination in that we'll get 50 marks like at least we have to score 30 to 40 marks because it is only the mental ability and uh, general studies uh, coming to part b we'll get 100 marks like we have to focus on each and every subject in order to get a uh, huge marks in this part b so at least we have to score 70 to 80 marks in the part b subjects so uh, it is very easy for uh, oc student to crack this examination if he gets he or she gets 70 marks 70 to 80 marks in part b and um, 30 to 40 marks in part a so kindly focus on each and every subject not to miss each and every concept uh, in order to crack this examination in first attempt I am going to help you with part B session that is engineering subjects which includes electrical, electronics and computer science subjects also and uh, I am going to give you uh, video lectures of uh, bits like a mock test, write those mock tests as well, prepare yourself, work hard then you will get this job very easily. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and comment and let me know which topics you need the most and which subject do I need to help you first and uh, any suggestions let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and share.